Have you been wondering what all this noise is about Hyperland? Well, so have I. So, let's get into it. Now, before we get started, I really want to say that I promised I wouldn't become this Linux channel, right? Like DistroTube or Brody, and I'm still committed to that. However, I was switching over to Fedora, and I was thinking, I might try this Hyperland. And I found a script to automatically install it, and I said, why not? Let's just give it a try and see what I think. So here we are. Do you like this content? Well, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so. So, let me give you a quick crash course. To kick things off, super plus enter spawns a new terminal. And if you got multiple tasks, well, the windows tile neatly like any other dynamic tiling window manager. And when you need to focus, Super Plus F brings a window into full screen mode with a single keystroke. For quick access to options, the Super Key opens up a Rofi menu offering a wide range of choices at your fingertips. Managing wallpapers is a breeze too, with Control alt w easily changing them whenever you like. And if the wallpaper decides to vanish, just hit Control alt w again and you're good to go. When you need guidance, well, Super H pulls up a help menu to help remind you of what the key bindings are. And this is very handy for those with ADHD and probably for anyone else. Super Plus T opens up a file browser for navigating your system. Shifting layouts is a cinch with Super Alt L offering different arrangements for your workspace. Are you exploring customization options for your panel? Well, Super Alt B and Super Control B reveal panel styles and layouts. So far, what do you think about Hyperland? And is Wayland ready for production? Leave me a comment in the section below. Is there just something about the desktop you can't live with? Or maybe something you can't live without? Well, the Hyper or Waybar folders inside the .config folder houses deeper configuration options. So there you have it. What do you think of this Hyperland? I have to say that I really like it. And at the end of the day, I think it boils down to whether or not I would use it on my daily driver. I think I could, but I do understand that some people might not be so enthusiastic to use Hyperland for their daily driver. At the end of the day, I think it just boils down to someone's personal preferences and what they're willing to tolerate as far as, you know, the, some of the bugginess. But so far, I'm really enjoying using this. And there's just been a couple of things that have happened that have kind of made it a little hard for me to use. But Overall, I think I could probably uh, find myself using this pretty much full time. I think this is my new favorite tiling window manager. Though it's not as reliable as DWM or Xmonad. Man, some of the window effects are pretty incredible, aren't they? <laughs>